Hello everybody, Michael O'Grady here again. Um, you join us in uh, episode 6, looking at headers, and this is the end point from uh, episode 5, looking at uh, the sheet tab. So in headers, this is uh, quite a full uh, range of options, uh, and for just a small area here, uh, we have a lot of control over this. We can have a background picture, we can have a foreground picture, and we can put some flash over the top. We also have the ability to control the size, position, colour, text, fonts, etc. of this text here. Um, we can put these on a, a text block background, which is here. Uh, we can control the width, the height, um, etc. So starting uh, broadly left to right, um, we can have no header, uh, the header with the menu underneath or the menu on top uh, and then the header underneath. Let's just swap these around like so. The width um, is altering this uh, width of the sheet, so we'll just keep that the same. I'm okay with that. The height um, it's 225 at the moment. Let's just change that to, I don't know, 175. And the text block, this is, um, uh, we can choose different widths, but it's basically preset widths uh, to the left or to the right. And these shaded areas here will be coloured and it will contain the text. So you see that text is just wrapped round. Okay, and so we can uh, have that to the right as well, like so, and I suppose the, theoretically that should be totally within the area. <coughs> so let's go for, oops, not that one, this one, no text block. The background image, there's quite a few in here, um, abstract, colour abstract, and then uh, nature, cities, landscapes, quite, quite a few. Let's go for glass skyscrapers. Okay, so we have a picture underneath which is a little bit uh, blurred. We've got the map over the top and we also have uh, glare and we can have uh, a photo in the foreground and flash as well. Um, so let's have a, a look at uh, position. A lot of these we can get from this uh, drop down menu here. So if I just want to take that, um, align left, right, so that's okay. No, I don't want that. Uh, I can take a picture from file and then effects. And a lot of these um, we can get from here. Uh, but strangely, things like blur. Um, it's not obviously in here but you do have uh, the options for the background image here. So general, um, the height, the text block, foreground photo, we haven't got one so let's just put one in for the moment. Uh, you'll see that this tab here is the same as this tab is the same as this tab. It's just with it, um, we've no foreground picture at the moment so let's just get this gentleman here. Uh, we'll come back to him in a moment from his position, but if we go back to our uh, foreground photo, we can uh, grow the size. Um, the glow opacity. Okay, let's just click OK. We'll go with that. We have a glow around him. Um, we can look at position, we can move him around, uh, somewhere in here we can have him facing the other direction, uh, flip, okay, let's flip him round, <coughs> uh, so let's just go back to here, our foreground photo, our background photo, we can change Colour saturation, transparency, blur. Let's take the blur off. Okay, that's uh, a little more, makes a little more sense. Um, JPEG quality, probably go to PNG quality. 
Um, do we want any glare on there? Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what we do have. Okay, the, the glare is this uh, map of the world. Okay, so that's what um, we're reducing here in opacity. Uh, it's in the center, so let's turn it to the left. Uh, and it's fitting vertically, so that's good. Uh, image or texture. Uh, it looks like we've nothing in there at the minute. Texture position, gradient. Um, I don't think we've got a gradient at the minute. Um, or maybe we have. I'm not detecting the gradient there. Uh, let's have a look at flash. We don't have any flash in there. So let's just have a look at getting some flash. Uh, there's a very nice one. We've got our arrows and falling clouds and so falling leaves. We've also got clouds, which are quite interesting. I oh, need to go back and set that blur. Take that blur out. There's our clouds. So let's just go back in here and set the background picture to be zero. Blur. In fact, I need to put the map, the glare, um, on the left. That's OK. <coughs> so you can see the flash uh, clouds whizzing across there. And they're actually going across the foreground picture as well. So let's just go into here. All these, are, as I say, are the same. They all come to this point here. Uh, it's auto playing, yes, it's repeating. Um, it's in transparent as opposed to opaque or a window. Uh, let's just run that down to 15%. Um, high quality, speed, we're not able to control. So let's go OK with that. OK, that's reasonable. It's reasonable. Might take a little time to load uh, with all this stuff going on. So let's have a look now at um, the site title and slogan. Uh, we'll just change this. Yours truly. And uh, enter the slogan. Stuff and nonsense. I like that. Press tab. Now it's a bit dark, so let's just have a look at uh, positioning this. Um, I'll just put it down. Put it down there. I'm going to change it from dark to light. I can change the the size of that. So keep that. It's gone to a, a different colour anyway. Uh, size align. So let's just have a look at here. Colour. Uh, I'll just make this white and we'll go back uh, and choose a font family of... Hmm, what shall we use? Trebuchet, I think. Uh, what's this one? Colour. We'll make this uh, slightly grey and then the font uh, we'll have Vedana so that's that's quite um, it's got a quite a lot of contrast there I think I need to make that white as well In terms of size, font size, we can pick um, the font size. Um, what's the last one? The style, italics. Font options, you get the normal um, font panel here. Um, underline, strikeout, etc. <coughs> whether it's bold. And that's basically it for the header. The important thing is that here you would get your keywords. 
because these are going into um, your uh, HTML, CSS content pages that are going to be read by Google. Uh, so we've covered more or less most of that. There's the foreground, the background, there's glare, there's flash if you want. Uh, all of these control balls on different layers. So that's it for the header. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, meet me on the next one which is the menu which is looking at all these uh, items down here. I've been Michael O'Grady. Thank you for watching and listening and I'll see you shortly.